Hello everybody and welcome back to Forest River. As you can see, we are down here at the neighbors. Um, picked up, I've already hauled one bag back to the farm. And then I grabbed the other one, came up here, and we're gonna grab the uh, bagger right away. Um, and then here's the rake and baler that uh, we're gonna use. And then he also said, uh, grab some net wrap if we need it because he said that stuff's old and got forgotten about outside so he said do him a favor use it up get rid of it um, so he's got a Vermeer uh, R2800 uh, hydraulic driven V-rake and then he's got a nice really nice uh, New Holland BR7060 baler and then He's got the unloader sitting right here as well. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, run back to the farm with this. And uh, then we got to grab oil because the uh, combine is about ready for a service and it is pretty much out of fuel. Um, it's got 1% left according to inspector mods so we need to get some fuel in that guy pronto and I've got uh, some more of the corn combined still a uh, fairly decent chunk of it left but uh, I got one full truck and as soon as we come back to this end we'll have another full truck and I did dump some in the uh, International already. And uh, after I dumped the first three full trucks, took a look at the bin and it was over 60% full. It was like 65% full already. So definitely uh, going to need this grain bagger because we're only one field in and... Uh, we're gonna have a full bin, so make sure we can squeeze on by there. All right, we're just gonna pull this guy right here for right now. Just we'll uh, move it later with the tractor. And then we'll uh, back up here to the Quonset. Unstrapped. Oh. There we go. So we'll grab this. Set it right over here in front of the other one. I'm thinking two bags should be more than enough. Um, we can always buy another one if need be. But they weren't uh, too expensive. It was 550 bucks for one of them. So. Um, I mean, obviously it isn't cheap, but it could have been worse so alright let's throw this in the box and then we'll go get the uh, combine moving again Throw a strap over this. That one's not going to do anything. 
Okay. Uh, this fuel tank is driving me nuts. Alright. Let's run over here to the combine now. And uh, let's get some fuel pumped in that guy. Alright, so that guy is going to sit there for a while. And uh, while that's filling, let's just go ahead and run this other full truck. We'll uh, get this unloaded right away. Because then I think our other truck is going to fill fill this bin. We'll get this guy unloading and then uh, we got to go kick that fan on yet. Forgot all about that. Seventy percent already. It's insane. Bins are just not big enough. We should take that lime tote and uh, throw it inside the heated shop too. Oh, it's out of the elements. Yeah, we definitely need a different auger or something. And we are starting to get later in the day too. We're it's 4:30 now and it's starting to kind of darken. It's kind of depressing. Once it gets dark, we gotta quit, so. It's kind of unfortunate, but. It's just the way that uh, she's gonna go for right now. Are we getting anywhere on fuel? Yeah, we're getting. getting her. Let's see how much is left. Okay. So we should have enough in that tank to fill that combine. Um, let's check on this truck here, how close. This one's 90%, let's just go ahead and uh, let's go dump this thing right away. We got time to wait, so we might as well get it done. Because I'm going to let that combine fill. Because uh, <coughs> the amount of power that we're using to cut through this corn is burning through fuel like crazy. I think in one pass I used like almost 2% of fuel. So it's uh it's burning it quite well. I think we only have room for another 500 and some bushels in this bin anyways, so we got 600 and some. Yeah, 
and we're 95 percent full already so gonna have to get that bagger hooked up here real quick and I'm thinking that we'll put the bag over there in that open area that's out of the way and it's a nice spot for it so Okay, well, that's it for that bin, so, um, let's get that bit of corn unloaded into the truck, and then we'll get hooked on to the bagger. Get that corn emptied out. It's one thing I wish that like augers and stuff when the bin is almost full they stop whatever is unloading and they make it to where when the bin is full the truck has already stopped unloading and you're auger is empty. That would be real nice. Okay, let's grab this big dog. Alright, so hook it up. PTO. There should be hydraulic lines, but there's not. gonna pick a bag up drop it down and you just back up I think we have it facing the wrong way I think it's the problem I think you gotta have it facing the correct direction. Yes, no, maybe. Whoa, wrong way. Um, do I have to unfold it first? I know I've used this thing, and so I'm not sure why. Oh. Out. Well, whatever we did, that worked. Okay. So we're just going to drag this bag along with us. I think we have enough room here for one. Maybe. It would be nice if the unload was on the other side, but if we had a grain cart, it wouldn't matter. Alright, so pipe out. Unload. Unfold silo. Okay, now, okay, we want that cover. Come on, the lights do nothing for us. I 
have no idea what we're adjusting even. Okay. Oh, that's... There we go. Okay. And if we go here, this is that... Okay, we should be good. We're gonna back up so the tractor is just off of the road. But we have to have this thing straight. Okay, and there we go. Now let's grab this thing. We're going to unload the rest of this into there. Oh boy. Alright. And the bag is just gonna grow. See it expanding there already. I think if we, yeah, okay. Yeah, so we got 300 bushels in it, I'm thinking. I have no idea. Well, we'll know when it's full, because it, it'll quit, so. We'll get this back, and we should be done fueling up by now. downside to only having that slip tank is does not pump near as fast as uh, something else would literally anything else would so it is time consuming but thankfully we had uh, some other things that we could get done so That truck can go there. Let's check this guy out now. Sweet. Now if I hit R, okay. Performing the oil change. And then we'll be good until about 10 hours. Awesome. We are back in business. Let's get this thing out of the way. Let's get back to cutting. And away we go. Perfect. Well now after seeing how full that bag is after just the little bit that we dumped in it, uh, I think we'll be going back and buying more. So 
so that'll uh, yeah that'll have to happen <laughs> we're definitely not gonna only we're definitely gonna have more than we can fit into two. Oh boy we're down to one oh 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 there we go now we're picking up some speed Just chewing away. So I'm hoping that we can get this field finished yet tonight. Um, and then we'll uh, head home for the night, get rested up, and then we'll try and get back at it earlier, as early as we can tomorrow. And because... Uh, we got a lot to do tomorrow. Got to try and finish combining, and then we got to get that. Uh, we got to get all this straw bailed up before it decides to uh, snow on us, and then it has to lay here until next year. Or well, until spring, and then we gotta try and get all this stuff off in the spring. Why are you? Oh, that's why it's not wanting to move. Hitting the truck. Um. Then it's not gonna be a very good quality. We won't make as much. But if it comes down to that, then. We'll deal with that, but I think we should be able to get it all done. Because then after this video, I will get this field finished up. Um, whatever's left after the end of uh, today's video. And then uh, when we come back in tomorrow's video, we will uh, get going on the next one. We'll knock that little piece out first on uh, our last field. Do that little piece surrounded by railroad tracks. Yeah, I definitely would like to uh, have this done tonight. So then we just have that those two pieces left tomorrow and then uh, get cracking right away. We'll probably get, we'll probably take the uh, international over and get it hooked up to that rake. Um, and then we'll take our John Deere down and put that guy on the baler. And then uh, we'll probably rake first so that way it's done. And then we can just hammer out the baling and get all of that finished. Whoa, let's not hit this truck too now.
And this is pretty much how this whole harvest is going to go. Excuse me. It's going to be... Uh, Excuse me. It's going to be a uh, dump on one end, combine to the other end, dump again. And just keep repeating. And we take a quick peek here at our. I mean, we're. We're not really going under a hundred percent. So all the money on the lime and fertilizer and all that stuff really really paid off. So now for next season, um, I'm thinking of adding in the advance or the seed add-on mod to where um, you have to buy the seed for the certain crop that you want to plant. So like with us wanting to put in sunflowers, you would have to buy sunflower seed. Uh, corn seed, things like that, just to kind of boost the realism. Um, I mean, we're trying to go fairly realistic on this series, so um, I would definitely like to add that in for it. It's a little more intense doing it that way. Because you can't just fill a wagon full of seed and call it good. Uh, you gotta kind of try and plan things out somewhat. So that way you don't end up with way more than you need and things like that. So... Definitely gonna be a lot of uh, raking. It'll definitely take some time to uh, get everything raked and baled. But when we come to that, we'll probably uh, do a couple time lapses and uh, then you guys can s experience it all, but in much faster time. So now that we're on shorter windrows, we can actually cut all the way back, which is going to be nice. Do more than one pass now. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for today, folks. Hope you all enjoyed this video. And uh, as always, thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you all in the next one.